Hi, I'm Amanda Martinez, and I am here with a two-time Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter, Elspin Torres. Hi, Amanda. What a pleasure to have you here. It's great to be in Toronto. He is here all the way from Miami, and um, we're talking about the art of songwriting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm curious how you originally discovered songwriting as a profession and, and loving it. Well, for me, I started... Uh, the love of songwriting started very young for me. I was surrounded by, uh, by songwriters, especially one songwriter, which was my uncle, who would always play songs around the house of his, of his uh, composition. And I grew up listening to original music. By the time I was a mid-teenager, I started writing my own songs, and I, I worked really hard at developing that skill of uh, becoming a songwriter. And by the time I became a young adult, I realized that there was a, a career there, that I could actually do this for a living. I met other songwriters that were already doing this as a living, and I just kind of took took that initiative and went that in that direction. One thing that um, I wanted to ask you, and I know a lot of um, aspiring songwriters and songwriters out there um, always want to know is, what do you do when you have writer's block or you're feeling stuck? What are some of the the, the tools that you use? Well, I mean, there there are several things you can do when you have writer's block. Um, one thing. One thing that I always say, the first thing I always say is have patience with yourself. That's very important. It's it's very easy to get frustrated when you're working on something and you, you're coming along and then right away you hit a roadblock. Uh, those are the times when you need to really be patient. Uh, I have a step-by-step -step, uh, use that I do. I, I usually uh, either walk away for a little while, go get a drink or something, clear my mind, and then try to come back. Or sometimes I listen to something else that's not related to what I'm doing to see if that will uh, jar something in my in my creative uh, mind to let me uh, open up that road. When you first started songwriting, you were doing it solo on your own, mm -hmm. and then you started collaborating a lot more. What what has that process been like for you? Writing with other songwriters has, has been a great uh, boost in my career. I, I've learned I've learned a lot from other songwriters. And it's opened up uh, a lot of my uh, my creative windows that I didn't even know that I possessed. So uh, that 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 whole part of my career started uh, a while back, about 20 years now, when I was signed to a publishing company in Miami. And the person that signed me uh, started connecting me with other writers. And to this day, a lot of those writers are dear friends, and uh, I wound up writing with a lot of uh, international artists as well. So it's definitely something that I recommend for, for any songwriter to, to try to collaborate with others. Will you leave us with a little taste of one of your favorite creations? Sure. <laughs> uh, the song is called La Vida Cambia and it's uh, rather new. I wrote it uh, a couple years back and it's, uh, it's a fan favorite, let's say that. A veces hay alegría sin sin sabores Cada momento es único, no hay otro más Salado y dulce todo puede ser Depende del cristal con que se ve No vivas del mañana ni del ayer Porque la vida cambia en un segundo y vamos no hay que llorar, hay que reír. Lo malo bueno y deja lo malo que el camino es poder ser feliz. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Amanda. And for those of you who um, want to know more about Elston, where can we find you? You can go to my website, uh, www.elston.info, or look for me in uh, all social media under Elston Torres. Thanks so much.